being a librarian with the National Library Board. Welcome to School Holiday Specials. Today, we'll be having a mini geography lesson where I'll be telling you more about rocks and volcanoes and why I think they are so cool. Let me share some books you can read to learn more about this theme. Shall we get started? Have you ever wondered how rocks are formed? Well, there are many ways rocks are formed. One of them is through volcanic eruptions. Learn more about volcanic eruptions in this cute comic book called A Trip to the Top of the Volcano with Mouse by Frank Fiver. In this book, a young explorer and mouse arrive in Italy to climb Mount Etna. Mount Etna is one of the world's most active volcanoes, meaning it erupts quite often. However, despite there being so much to learn about Mount Etna, Mouse just wants to have pizza. Read this book to find out more about the different parts of a volcano, how rocks are formed during a volcanic eruption, and finally, what the earth and pizza both have in common. Next, you can read Old Rock is Not Boring by Deb Piluti. In this book, Old Rock has been sitting at the same spot in the forest for extremely long. How long? 150 million years. That's how long. His friends in the forest think that it must be very boring to sit at the same spot without moving for years. However, Old Rock shares about all the things he has seen in his life, starting from the day he was brought onto Earth after being erupted out of a volcano. He has even talked to dinosaurs and journeyed through glaciers. Learn more about the different time periods the Earth has gone through by reading about Old Rock's experiences in this book. Have you ever noticed that there are many different types of rocks? For example, did you know that pencil lead is made out of graphite, which is a type of very soft rock? On the other hand, diamonds are the hardest rocks in the world. If you would like to learn more facts about rocks, you can read Spencer and the Rocks by Lawrence F. Lowry. Join Spencer as he investigates why rocks have different colours, shapes, sizes, and textures. Now that we know how rocks are formed and the many different types of rocks there are, let's explore all the different places where rocks can be found with our last book titled A Rock Can Be by Laura Purdy Sellers and Violetta de Beecher. After reading this book, try going for a walk around your neighbourhood to point out all the different things which rocks can be. All these books and more can be found in our public libraries. Now, let's try painting a card of a volcanic eruption using our handprints. For this craft, you would need a piece of drawing block that's at least A4 size, a paintbrush, some paint, I have orange, yellow, and brown. And finally, some markers. First, ensure that your palm is evenly coated in the orange and yellow paint, like this. Then, stamp it onto your paper. You will get something like this. your marker and draw the body of the volcano. Using your paintbrush and the brown paint, paint the body of the volcano. You will have something like this. Finally, use your markers and decorate the card however you like. You can give it to somebody you love by writing I love you. I'm going to write I love reading. It will look something like this once you're done. 
I hope you learned something new about rocks and volcanoes with me today. And you love our reading too. See you in our libraries.